Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for earth sign energies. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, taught me to give a clear and accurate reading for earth sign energies. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. Just as a side note with any donation you give, if you choose to, you could ask me a question in the comment section and I will make a tarot video for you answering that question. All right, I scurried the crystal for you today, and the image that showed up in the crystal for you was two fishes. Now, there was one fish that almost had this, like, um, starfish, or not starfish, what would be angelfish type of appearance to it. And there was another fish that was um, more of a less, uh, I guess it would be less fancy type appearing fish. So, how, that, how I interpret that is fish symbolize prosperity. They symbolize also being very much connected to the subconscious realms of your mind that will lead into being connected very spiritually. Also, the fish can symbolize Christ and they can symbolize, you know, being provided for, you know, where God will give you the means to receive your blessing. So, for example, that Bible passage came to my mind is, if you teach a man, if you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. If you teach a man a fish, you will feed him for life. So I feel like your uh, your work, whatever it is that you're working towards, is going to be bringing in lots of abundance for you. All right, let's get into your reading. The first card to come out for you was the Ace of Cups. So with the Ace of Cups, this is happiness, joy, and abundance overflowing for you here. Next card out for you is the sun card. So this is, you know, birth. This is things being birthed, you know, a change, a new beginning and soulmate energy here with the sun card. Next card out for you is judgment. So I feel like God is giving you a good judgment here. He's blessing you with good karma. He's seen your good deeds and you're going to be rewarded for it. Next card out is the eight of wands. So with the eight of wands coming, I feel like you're going to be receiving some type of fast communication. Next card out is the Eight of Coins. So with the Eight of Coins being here, this could be uh, fast communication in regards to your work or something that you're trying to manifest. Next card out for you is the Knight of Coins. So the Knight of Coins symbolizes loyal, hard worker, uh, animal lover, uh, making your wishes come true. So this could be someone that's within your energy. This could be your soulmate. Or this could be how you are being seen right now. Next card out is the Two of Swords. So you're going to be stuck in a position where you're going to have to make a decision here with the Two of Swords. And that was clarified by the Eight of Cups. But you're going to choose to walk away from something, from a situation, something that no longer serves you. And that was clarified by the Six of Cups. So something involving your past, you're going to walk away from. You could be walking away from an, a feeling, um, an old habit, perhaps, for you know some of you out there, an old way of thinking. Um, or perhaps an actual individual here with a six of cups, someone that, you know, was, didn't have your best interests at heart and you're, you know, walking away from this individual. Next card out for you is the nine of wands. Cause this person puts you in the wounded warrior energy, you know, where you did come out, you triumphed over it. You know, you came out of this situ situation. 